Hello and welcome. Really happy to have you here today as we do a traditional spiritualist healing service. I'm the Reverend Dee Dee Freeman and I am a member of the National Spiritualist Association of Churches. And one of the things that's very important to us in our Sunday services is the spiritual healing service. So what I'd like to do right now, um, just to bring everyone into one accord and create sacred space, I'd like to invite everyone to just get comfortable as I do the invocation and invite spirit in to join us. Infinite spirit of love and light, thank you so much for bringing us all together here in this virtual fashion as we come together to join our hearts and minds on this beautiful, beautiful day. Please quiet our minds and open our hearts that we may hear your voice gently calling from within. At this time, we invite in friends and family, loved ones in spirit, guardian angels, ascended masters, that they may come close to us at this time as we invite them to touch our hearts as we raise our vibration up to meet theirs in the highest and most beautiful vibration of love. Great Spirit, please watch over us and allow us to hear that spark of divine that dwells within each one of us that we may better know ourselves and our life's purpose. And so it is. And now, uh, in keeping with our traditional healing service, I'd like to play for us our healing hymn. It really is wonderful. Although we can't be together person to person, we can do this virtually with our computers and our iPads and our phones. And for that, I am truly thankful. So at this time, I'd like to take a moment to explain to you what spiritual healing is. And I believe I have a link uh, placed in one of the posts that I have on my interior alchemy site and it will link you to the National Spiritualist Association of Churches website that where this information came from. So healing, spiritual healing, is a form of mediumship. People don't really realize that, but besides getting messages from spirit, which is wonderful, people on the other side, healing is a form of mediumship where we tap into the infinite intelligence, the divine, and bring that energy right through us or we can also work with an intermediary such as a spirit doctor or a chemist or uh, a someone that lived long ago that comes and works through us when we do this type of work. So spiritual healing is recognized in many ancient religions and has been a principle of spiritualism since its beginning. And today on a national basis, evidence is growing in the medical community of the importance of spiritual healing to the cure of the individual in need. Evidence is growing that the whole person needs treatment, not just the illness. 
So the definition of a spiritualist healer is one who, either through their own inherent powers or through mediumship, is able to impart vital curative forces to pathological conditions. There you have it. Pretty simple. A spiritualist healer works with the spirit, mind, and emotions, and the body of the recipient. A spiritual healer is aware that once stress is removed from the mind and emotions, the body will respond naturally. This brings about holistic healing in the person. Spiritualist healers acknowledge the importance of the medical community and work in cooperation with them at all times. Spiritualism recognizes that the medical community is an instrument of healing of the infinite. The next part that we do, especially since we don't have actual hands-on healing today, we will be doing remote or absent healing. So this is the time where people in our lives that we know who are in need of help, who are in need of healing, we can either say their names out loud or just bring them up in our minds. And as we do so, it's directing the energy to them. And spiritual energy, spiritual healing goes where it's needed. We don't have to do anything specific. We just attune ourselves to God, infinite intelligence, source of all that is. And that it feels like a state of divine grace or um, unconditional love. Uh, gratitude's another word that people use to describe the state of attunement. So I'll do my healing list, which is pretty standard these days. Um, I send, a, I put on the healing list, those in my immediate community that have been affected one way or the other in this latest uh, crisis that we're all experiencing together. I send uh, love and light to leaders everywhere, people who are in a position to make decisions that affect those around them. And I also, as, as always, send healing to those who have been asked to be in my pastoral care. And at this time, may I invite you all to take a few moments to just bring to mind those in your life that are in need of help and in need of healing, and I'll be quiet for a few moments. And we will have some time during the healing meditation to bring those folks' names to mind again and send them healing when we're in that beautiful state of attunement that happens when we do guided meditation. So at this time, we will do the spiritual prayer for healing. Uh, it's been a tradition of ours for many, many years now. And I also have it posted um, on my interior alchemy page. But for today, if you don't have it in front of you, I'll go ahead and recite it for all of us. I ask the great unseen healing force to remove all obstructions from my mind and body and to restore me to perfect health. I ask this in all sincerity and honesty, and I will do my part. I ask this great unseen healing force to help both present and absent ones who are in need of help and to restore them to perfect health. I put my trust in the love and power of God or infinite intelligence. Thank you. Now at this time, we will begin the actual healing portion of our service. And this is normally where we would invite up our healing mediums and they would sit in benches in the front of the congregation and they would begin to bring themselves into a state of attunement. But since we don't have that going on, this is all going to be a remote or absent healing. And if you are someone who does Reiki or feels comfortable with giving healing, I want you to start to think about preparing yourselves to attune with spirit. And if you'd simply like to receive healing, again, all you have to do is open your mind and allow spirit to move through you and uplift your soul. And that is the first sign of spiritual healing is a sense of upliftment and calm and peace. So I'd like to invite you once again before we start the meditation to visualize and imagine yourself either uh, giving or receiving 
spiritual healing. So let's skip my music here. There we go. Now I invite you all to relax. Settle yourselves down. Allow yourself to become calm, peaceful, and still. Bring your attention to your breath. A quiet, natural breath. And when you are ready, allow your eyes to simply close down. Begin to scan your body, starting at the top of your head, moving through each part gently, relaxing and releasing. Any tightness or tension that you may have, relaxing even more with every slow, deep breath. And as you feel your mind becoming relaxed, feel your body and soul becoming relaxed. And all the sounds you hear simply draw you deeper and deeper inside yourself to that still quiet place within your mind. This is the source of your intuition, your knowing, your higher self. And as you begin to reach this blissful state, you can allow the ordinary world to simply disappear, fade away farther and farther as you drift deeper and deeper into a blissful state of receptivity and heightened awareness. We now invite in our spiritual healing guides. Ask them to come close to us at this time. Work with us and through us to bring peace, love, and healing to all. May we receive the positive loving energy that flows from spirit and allow this vibration of healing to make a difference in our lives physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And at this time, we especially want to bring to mind those we mentioned earlier, and imagine each one of them in harmony and perfect health. And especially at this time, all times, but especially at this time, bring to mind those who serve us, the armed forces, paramedics, the fire department, the police, and especially our health workers who now are literally putting their lives on the line so that we can be as safe as we possibly can. Send them love. And wishing them all the best in this very important work that they're doing. Let's also send healing thoughts to all of us at a distance. During these times of isolation and self-reflection, this is needed now more than ever. We send healing energy, unconditional love, to those who have recently made their transition to spirit. 
and to those who are preparing to make that glorious transition. We ask that the families and close friends of the dying accept what is to be and give permission to those who are transitioning to spirit to return to source peacefully. <sighs> and now we send healing to ourselves as we gently release any earthly concern and we open ourselves to peace, wisdom, and joy. And as we attune to the divine and the blessing of the Spirit's grace, we experience unconditional love. And this high vibration of love envelops and fills us, body, mind, and soul. Spirit, through our intuition and intuitive wisdom, is our one true source of guidance in all situations. With a deep sense of gratitude, know that we are being guided to our highest and best in all things. Spirit, God, infinite intelligence, is our source of healing energy and vitality. We simply need to attune in moments of silence. And as we breathe in, feel this powerful energy moving in and through us, restoring, restoring wholeness and vitality. And as we exhale, let go of any thoughts of imperfection and relax, surrendering to this loving presence. Now feel this healing energy extending into the environment around us, into every part of nature, and into every living being. We are all one in this loving presence of unconditional love. Now visualize and imagine that loving healing energy shining brightly, as brightly as the sun, and invite that brilliant radiant energy over the crown of your head now. And as your crown begins to open to receive this loving healing light, allow it to fill your body. Your whole body is now filled with divine healing light divine healing energy. Now allow this radiant energy to completely fill any and all physical places, physical areas that are in need of healing, emotional areas that are in need of healing, spiritual areas that are in need of healing. Feel this energy expanding, warming all those places, healing all those places with love and light. Now bring your awareness to any desires or intentions you may have. Focus now on those desires, those intentions as you allow this healing energy to bring those deepest desires to life and your intentions to reality. Feel yourself letting go of what no longer serves you.
bring in love, joy, and happiness. Allow yourself happiness. Allow yourself joy. Your aura will change. Your life will change. As when we are happy and joyful, these high vibrations spread to everyone around you. Release your sorrows. Let whatever has hurt you melt away. It is not who you are. You are spirit. You are unique. You are beautiful. Learn to forgive yourself and others that may have harmed or hurt you. We all do the best we can. Remember to love and be happy. When we do all of this, we attune to and become one with spirit. It's really as natural and easy as breathing. In this attuned state of mind, we open ourselves up to new and wonderful possibilities. We must learn to visualize this to see this healing energy, this attunement, this divine force permeating every cell of our body, every atom, each and every minute particle of us being healed for the highest and greatest good. As we learn to let go and live in the moment, be in the now. And our lives are filled with abundance. Our relationships, our creative expressions, our thoughts and ideas, our life's purpose unfolds before us in this state of attunement. Everything we desire is already ours. We just have to allow it. Imagine all people as one in spirit, living in peace and harmony, divinely guided and filled with unconditional love for themselves, each other, and our beautiful planet Earth. I will leave you here for a moment to reflect on what is in your heart. As we close this healing service, we give thanks for this moment in time, gratitude for being able to come together as we have, take a little break from the reality that's around us and join our hearts together in love and light. And as we go from each other out into our worlds, Remember to smile and say hello because you don't know that kindness that you share might change and save someone's life. And so it is. Thank you so very much for joining us today. It has been my absolute pleasure to share this traditional healing service with you. Thank you.